Hey, this is Taylor here at Truck World RVA. Today we're going to be looking at this 2019 Ford F550. Full crew cab, four wheel drive, 60,700 and some thousand, or 60,700 and some miles on it. 11 foot service bed, 5521 crane, hydraulic compressor, hydraulic outriggers. Really nice truck, very well equipped. Um, the goal of these videos is to give you an idea of what the truck is like in person, how all the equipment works, what it looks like. Um, so the first half, I'm going to highlight any cosmetic imperfections that I see. The second half, we'll do a drive and an equipment demonstration on it. Uh, if you'd like any more close-up pictures or videos or information about the trucks, feel free to call or text 804-716-8487. We ship these all over the country. Um, my goal is for all the questions to be answered basically in this video. So if you do still have any questions after watching, feel free to call or text us at that number. Again, it's a 2019 model, 60,000 miles, a little door ding here. So really a pretty clean truck, um, power locks, power windows, cruise control, factory exhaust brake, rubber seats, vinyl floors. Obviously you have um, your sync, Bluetooth phone connect, all your steering wheel controls there. And then again, it is four wheel drive as well. Interior's in good shape. A little bit of staining in the headliner in some spots. Nothing major. Uh, no rips or tears that I see. A tiny bit of wear right here. Just some cracking in the vinyl. Uh, pretty common area for it to crack. Um, we'll take a look underneath the truck now. This truck came out of North Carolina. It's where it spent its life. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty well bone dry on the underside. Still has the stickers on the frame the service bed just about the same there nothing that I really notice on the hood or the bumper I mean really usually there's some rock chips on the front of the hood but I don't really even see any there to point out a couple scratches here on the door I mean really minor stuff on this truck it's pretty darn clean Some rips here. Looks like where they might have just thrown some heavy stuff in the back seat. A couple small tears in the rubber itself. This is an 11 foot Alltech industry service body. It's got diamond plate on the front of the box, so that's protected it from rock chips. You just see some, I don't know if that's tar or maybe paint flake or something along the front here, but nothing really major. Again, nice and dry underneath. Kind of a unique service bed. The uh, double doors are all double hinged, which is nice. Um, really seems to produce a nice tight seal on the bed itself. Another nice thing about the bed is you have the cab high height bins down the entire both sides of the truck. So you don't have the torch cabinet that's a little bit taller here in the front, but you have taller bins all the way down. Uh, so a lot of extra storage here. All the uh, compartments as well have LED strip lighting in them, which we'll show later. This is obviously your torch compartment. Um, all the floors are solid. Just mud, dirt, and a little bit of surface rust there is what those red rings are, but uh, no rust coming through it. Shot of the body tag there. Body was manufactured in 2016. So it was not originally on the truck, but it's not a heck of a lot older than the truck, only three years older. Right here and right here it looks like that at some point was filled in with a little bondo to fix possibly a dent there drive tires are in good shape frame rails are nice and clean you have some rock chipping very minor along the wheel well right here there's no shelving there are no drawers it's definitely something that whoever buys it I'm sure will want to add um, but it's a very nice bed, uh, kind of a clean slate in terms of the uh, shelving and drawers 
So definitely will be an added expense, but the price of the truck will reflect that. Again, it's double hinged, uh, which is nice. These seal really tight. Um, all the gas shocks are, are in good shape. All the door seals are in good shape. You have this one shelf in here. And again, this is just kind of dirt and debris. Uh, if there's any areas of rust, you have like a little bit just of surfacey rust there. Coming along to the back of the truck, you do have the master slide lock here. You can lock all the bins at once. Obviously we have the key uh, for all the compartments as well. You can see this door right here. It's bent out just a tad there. Uh, you have rock chipping along the back corner here, down here as well. This is your crane compartment for all your uh, body controllers right here. You do have a hydraulic tool circuit, one hose reel, wireless remote control, it's aftermarket. Uh, we do have this factory remote as well as another parts factory remote in the back. Uh, the only one that works is the aftermarket one, but the original receiver and two parts remotes do come with it. So knock yourself out on that. They don't work, but they will come with it. They came with the truck. It's a 5521 full hydraulic crane, two stage hydraulic extension out to a maximum of 21 feet and a 5,000 pound maximum lifting capacity. Here's your pass through bin back here vice mount right here again it's hydraulic outriggers this side extends the other side is fixed it does not extend you have a heavy duty tow hitch receiver there as well as two steps the bed has a hard cover on it it is retractable you can see it's retracted right now but you can pull this out this way and pull it down over the whole bed if you'd like it's kind of hard to do one-handed That will lock over the whole bed if that's not needed or desired it can be removed it's just bolted on i'm happy to remove it prior to sale if you don't want it some guys love them some guys it's just in the way some rock chipping here along the bottom of this bin and again master lock to lock this whole side Brand new air tank up there. I should mention as well, some rock chips. Uh, the truck has a brand new PTO on it, just installed. One shelf again in here. Down here along the bottom edge, a few more rock chips. Nice big open compartment here. Some more shelving on this side. And then this is where you'd probably want to put your drawer pack. Good size compartment right there to put a drawer pack in. All right, well, that's about it for the cosmetic portion of the video. We'll get into a cold start, a drive, a crane and compressor demo. Again, if you have any questions, it's 804-716-8487. This is a 2019 with 60,000 miles. Just a quick note, this is all that we buy and sell. We have commercial financing available. We can ship anywhere in the U.S. If you're looking for a similar truck or something slightly different, smaller chassis, larger chassis, different crane size, um, we have plenty available. We get new trucks in on a weekly basis. So reach out to us at 804-716-8487. Let me know what you're looking for. This truck does have remote start. If I can get it to... Let's see.
There we go. Has to be locked first. Uh, it's a crew cab 550, just over 60,000 miles. And we're gonna take it for a spin. on the engine hours, 26.56 on the idle hours. Sixty thousand, seven fourteen on the miles. Obviously you have power locks, power windows, cruise control, sync for your phone, four-wheel drive, there's the PTO right there. Uh, factory exhaust brake as well. Pretty nicely equipped truck. Really nice to have a uh, remote start as well. by here. AC is blowing nice and cold. Drives nice and straight, plenty of power, shifts smooth, brakes great, nice truck. Body control unit here. Hydraulic outriggers. Pressure switch here. Crane is run off an aftermarket wireless remote. There's two parts remotes included with it. Neither of them work, but they are the factory remotes. It's the open hook design. So you throw the boom up and then it'll fall right off the hook. It's a 5521, so 5,000 pound maximum lifting capacity and 21 foot max boom reach. Fully proportional controls on a trigger. This is wide open, this is as fast as it goes. Uh, you can slow it down like so, really ease it in, or you can let it rip wide open. Pretty quick operation on the boom. 
winch is nice and quick as well. We'll get it out to that max reach. Swing it around over my way a little bit more. Again, super quick operation on the boom. Twenty one feet, fully extended. No slop in the rotation bearing. Uh, crane works great. All right, now we're gonna talk about the bed lighting. You have an LED spotlight on the front cab corner, as well as a strobe. All the bins, it's hard to see in the daylight, have LED strip lighting in them. Go through and look at all those. Pretty nice and bright. Again, we're full daylight right here, so it's hard to see it, but see all of them have that nice LED strip lighting. Strobes are built in to these back here. Have another LED spotlight behind the crane. And then one more up there on the front of the crane. Thank you again for watching. Again, this one is a 2019 F550, just over 60,000 miles, has a 5521 Stellar Crane, hydraulic compressor, 11 foot Alltech Industries service bed with hydraulic outriggers, full crew cab, uh, four wheel drive, and again, just over 60,000 miles. If you have any questions at all about the truck or uh, need any more information, feel free to call or text 804-716-8487, and I appreciate you watching.